O, ang una magtatanong po ay si Attorney Kayosa. Uh, Magandang hapon ma. Magandang hapon. Comfortable ho ba kayo nakatayo? Comfortable po kayo nakatayo? Kahit Com naabot na isang oras, may git? Opo. Okay, Opo. Sige po. Sige po. Salamat po, uh, Mr. Chairman. Pao, manin nyo na po. Um, I will have to speak in English. Opo. And feel free to respond in Filipino if Opo. you so wish. If we were to continue... The presentation that you made, I believe you uh, presented this we, uh, before the IBP during the forum. You did not get to the part where you would uh, propose knowledge and technical sharing on best judicial practices. Would you care to elaborate what you mean by this? And I was thinking in terms of peer um, peer uh, sharing among the judges. Opo. But uh, I would like to find out what your thoughts are on this. Opo. Ito po ay magandang programa ng Korte Suprema. Dahil una-una po ito po ay isinasagawa ng Komisyon, Komelec, na kung saan po ako ay nanunungkulan yung sharing of best election practices. Ako po ay dumalo sa mga konferensya na kung saan natuto po tayo sa kanila at sila sa atin. Halimbawa po, yung pagkakaroon ng satellite registration sa mga malls noong 2011, more than 38 malls ang ginawang registration center po for PWDs, persons with disabilities. Sa ibang bansa, this is a best or good election practice na tutupo sa atin. Pangalawa po, nandiyan po yung uh, pagkakatayo ng interagency and NGO network to empower PWDs, to empower IPs, to empower detainees. Wala po sa ibang bansa na isang electoral commission na kung saan po may interagency where NGOs and government are working together. So, sa hukuman po, kung ako po ay maging uh, punong hukum, magkakaroon po ng sharing of best practice. For instance po, sa India, may tinatawag na epistolary jurisdiction sa India po. Ang pasimuno po ay Chief Justice Bagwate ng India. Ibig sabihin sa sulat lang po, kung isa po ay isang mahirap, walang kakayan kumuha ng abogado, isang sulat, the Supreme Court will entertain this, epi this epistle or letter or complaint from isang magagawa, isang magsasaka, o isang mahira. So, best judicial practice na pwedeng matutunan po natin. Sa Estados Unidos po, nag-create po ng judicial conference uh, si Chief Justice Staff noon, na kung saan pulong po ng mga magistrado ng Korte Suprema, appellate courts, and yearly, they share their experiences, lessons from one another. So ito po ay pwede pong gawin po natin sa ating bansa para po lalong uh, umunlad po ang uh, pagre-resolve ng ating mga kaso. Maraming salamat uli. Um, dalawang tanong na lang Opo. po. What is your concept of restorative justice and would you in extend the application of restorative justice to adult offenders? Opo. Ako po ay may prison advocacy. Ako po ang pangulo ng preso. Preso meaning prison rehabilitation, empowerment service organization. Ito po ay binobo po ng mga madre, kaparian, mga miyembro ng NGOs at retired members of the judiciary. Ako po ay pabor sa restorative justice, na salip na kaparusahan. Manghanap po ng kaparaanan to rehabilitate ay uh, say a convict, a person, hindi po parusa. Dahil po ang tao ay magandang kalidad with qualities, so by restoring uh, his dignity to restorative justice, magiging productive member po siya ng ating lipunan. And in this kind of justice, the community po is involved to restore the dignity of that person. Ako po ay pabor po sa ganitong justisya sa ating lipunan. Would you go so far as to indicating in the judgment where the offender is found guilty to require him to undergo counseling or rehabilitation as part of uh, the decision? Ako po ay isang ayun po sa mong kahingan na maging bahagi ng ating mga desisyon ang counseling services because when we counsel, we inspire people lalong bumabalik ang kalang tiwala sa sarili at kalang dignidad. So I think this should part of the judgment to counsel and inspire the convicts. My last question. Opa. Were there instances in your public career where your independence or integrity was put to test 
and when you had to decide or rule in conflict with the interests of an appointing authority? Ilang beses po ako na nag-decision po sa COMELEC. I can cite six or seven cases. Ako po ay dissenting opinion. Halimbawa po ang kaso ng Nadlan. Liberal Party versus COMELEC. Amor versus uh, Amora versus COMELEC. Uh, Panlaki versus uh, COMELEC. At ilang pa ho. Pwede kong bangitin po yung kaso ng Mendoza versus Pagdanganan. Ang kaso po ng... Uh, Sa, sa Pampanga involving Governor Panlilio. And in all these cases, I was sustained by the Supreme Court. Though I was uh, the dissenter in, this, uh, in these cases, pagdating po sa Korte Suprema, binanggit po ang pangalan ko at, and I was sustained, affirmed by the, by the Supreme Court in these cases. And if I may add, Your Honor, please, sa kaso po ng Anggaling Pinoy, ako po ay hinirang ng ating Pangulo, Pangulong GMA, but I voted against the nominee of Angaling Pinoy, si Kinatawan Mikey Arroyo, knowing and believing that he could not well represent the security guards. Ako po ay distinct opinion po sa kaso niyan. So in all these cases, I have maintained my independence to ensure the integrity and of course the independence of the Constitutional Commission like the Common Act. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner Goodla. Salamat po. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you, uh, Justice Peralta. Magandang hapon po, Commissioner Sarmiento. Magandang hapon po. Um, sasamantalahin ko po yung pagkakataong ito na...